Hi. Uh, in step two of the journey, uh, that's uh, uh, line item profit analytics supported. Um, we I, earlier I, I already talked about step one, which is Jonathan Burns' great book, uh, Islands of Profit. Uh, in this particular one, coming up with cost to serve models, I'm going to give you two stories. First one was an in house uh, story. Very progressive, ambitious, well run uh, distribution company went out and spent $100,000 on some activity based software. They spent about another $50,000 in hardware. This is sort of around 2001 or two. They spent $50,000 in consulting fees to learn how to use the software. They had two and a half people really working full time for two years trying to, to, to model uh, all the activity that was going on in their business. Uh, the problem was is they kind of did it bottom up and got too caught up in the weeds as far as, well, Wally, who does a lot of receiving, also does 62 other things and gets the Christmas tree for the break room, you know, at holiday time or something. And it, they, the, the model was too complicated and uh, it kind of crushed under its own weight because once you get a model that's very complicated built and then you change some structural aspects of your business, you've got to change uh, all of the allocations and the more, the more little things you have, the more difficult it gets. And, you know, of course they found out these huge cross subsidies and didn't know how to get past the emotional sticky wicket trauma. And so as a result really got nothing out of it. And they didn't have, beyond trying to just come with customer profitability ranking, they didn't have any comprehensive vision of, of where they were going with this or what they were going to do next. Uh, the reason I know about these people is they, they are now uh, power users of, a, of an outsourcing uh, web analytics service called Waypoint, tuned for distributors. Um, and they spent five thousand uh, dollars on a setup fee, where Waypoint basically, you know, did all the cost to serve models, then iterations with the with the management team to fine tune it and so forth. Uh, and that took about three weeks. Uh, sometimes it can take longer, depending on how complicated uh, uh, a distributor's internal stuff is. Sometimes the world record is six days, um, but let's say it's about an average of that. Uh, then there's a, a monthly subscription fee. Um, which is paid in quarterly installments, which puts all the risk on Waypoint because in theory, one of their clients could, uh, you know, go for three months and say, forget it. I'm not, you know, I'm going to stop paying as opposed to in the pre in the, in the previous case study, all the investment was up front, and that was the, the risk of getting a return on that was all on the distributor. Um, because Waypoint has a lot of, 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 of clients that are now well down the journey path, they really have a community of veteran clients that you can use, and now I'm doing these e-video clips to, to help the cause. Um, and the particular case study I'm talking about, they took about six months to get everything tuned and right, and the whole top management team through islands and everybody on board and so forth. And they had a big profit improvement kickoff day, and they put in a gain sharing bonus for everybody. Um, and, you know, 12, 14, 18 months down the road, sales are up 40%, profits are up 1,000%. And actually, I'm pleased to say this last fiscal year, the average guy, we're talking Wally in the warehouse and George of the truck, got about a $3,800 gain sharing bonus, which was really fantastic. Um, so that's, that's you know, if, you can, if you can get a turnkey solution that works for all distributors, because all distributors actually are hub economic process businesses. Now, the, the SKUs or the suppliers are different and how you handle it inside your warehouse and how you snip it, cut it, process it, whatever, can vary a bit. That's all simple, straightforward math. The general processes of buying stuff, receiving stuff, storing stuff, picking, shipping stuff, billing stuff, receivables, and marketing stuff are all actually very similar. So um, the, the Waypoint uh, solution is very well tuned for uh, distributors. So uh, that's the first step is you got to come to your cost to serve model and, and uh, you could say, well, I'll outsource it to Waypoint uh, with the option of actually, you know, eventually knocking it off in-house and then unsubscribing. Or Waypoint has even had a, some clients where they've said, look, you're huge. 
your IT empire wants to own this, no problem. Do this, get it going. If the IT empire wants to try to knock it off in parallel, they're, they're welcome to do that. Uh, that failing, uh, the subscription fees can be uh, accumulate some bonus points to sort of buy in a license. You can take it in-house and then work on it and do whatever you want because some people want to take a obviously a turnkey thing and then do their own uh, customized uh, 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 changes to it. So that's the step two is we've just got to get over this hurdle of cost to serve. Thank you.